So this high frequency texture copy, this is where all my texture is. So all the texture in the image are inside this frequency texture copy. Why all the colors in the image are inside this low frequency and tones. So if you want to work on the blemishes, make sure your high texture copy is selected. Hi everyone, Tunde here. If you have been watching my video, you will know I always use the Retouching Academy to edit my pictures. That's because I learned how to retouch using the Retouching Academy. So I'm going to walk you through and show you how to use the Beauty Retouching Academy. And if you don't have this Retouching Academy yet, do well to send me an email and I'll send you the retouching software. Also, if you want to learn how to download and install the Retouching Academy and add it to Photoshop, I have a video for that and I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below. Let's jump straight into today's video. So this is the Retouching Academy. So the first tab right here we have is the Dodge and Bone tab. So inside this Dodge and Bone tabs, we have the Dodge and Bone curves, we have the Dodge and Bone gray, uh, we have the Dodge and we have the Bone, and we have the Visual Aid also. I'm just going to be explaining how to use all the actions we have right here. Everything on the Retouching Academy are actions. So, so the first one we have right here is the Dodge and Bone curves. If you want to use the Dodge and Bone curves, all you have to do is click on the Dodge and Bone. So just click on it once. And it's going to open a group for you in the layer tab so this first group we have right here is the visual aid and you can decide to delete this if you want i prefer to delete it so this visual aid what it does it just help you to see where to dodge and where to burn it just, it just uh, make you see more, more of the highlights and more of the shadow i'm just going to delete that and the other group we have right here is the actual dodge and burn and here we have the dodge and here we have the curves and to use the dodge and burn all you have to do is pick your normal brush tool, reduce your flow to about 4 or 5. Make sure your foreground color is on white because uh, your layer mask is on black. So just um, zoom in and just dodge where you want to dodge and burn where you want to burn. But for the sake of this tutorial, I want you to understand it better. I'm just going to increase my flow to about 100. But if you want to use it, make sure you reduce your flow to 5. I have a video on dodge and burn make sure you go watch that video to learn how to use dodge and burn so once you, once on my brush tool i just click on my dodge you can see it's dodging the highlights and uh, i'll come to my burn you can see it's burning the shadows like that so that's the function of this num this dodge and burn the first dodge and burn cause right why the normal dodge is the same thing as this first dodge and burn just that it's separate the dodge is separate and the burn is separate so right now we have already the dodge and once i once i paint you can see it's affecting it's just dodging the image and if I want to burn, I can just click on the burn. And right now we have the burn. And once I start brushing, you can see it's burning. So I'm just going to delete that. So that's the function of this dodge and normal burn. Why this uh I, this eye icon right here is the visual aid. So once I click on it, it's going to bring back my my visual aid right here. So I'm going to delete that. That's all for the dodge and burn tab. So the next one we're going to talk about right now is the focus separation, which I use a lot. So inside this frequency separation, we have frequency separation via Gaussian Blur, we have the custom, and we have the uh, via media, and we have the digital skin texture. And so I'm going to be explaining frequency separation via Gaussian Blur first, which I use all the time. So to use this, all you have to do is click on it once. And once you click on it, it's going to show you Gaussian Blur. So right now you have to choose the radius you want to use, and I have a video on how to choose the right radius for your image. So for, the, for this kind of image, I'm going to be using 5, so I just click on 5 and click on OK. So after that, it's going to create a new group for me on my layer tab. So this is the group you just created, focus separation via Gaussian Blur. So once I open the group, inside that group, I have my high frequency texture copy, I have my high frequency texture, I have my corrective tones, and I have my low frequency and tones. So this high frequency texture copy, this is where all my texture is. So all the texture in the image are inside this frequency texture copy why all the colors in the image are inside this low frequency and tones so if you want to work on the blemishes make sure your high texture copy is selected and once it's selected all you have to do is pick your spot healing brush tool or your close stamp tool sample from the close by area and just brush over the blemishes sample and brush like that sample and brush and you can see that's getting rid of those blemishes or you can pick your spot healing brush tool and just paint over a blemishes which you want to remove and you can see you have removed those blemishes if you want to use a mixer brush to even out the colors on the skin tone all you have to do is click on this corrective tone right here 
make sure your high texture copy is turned off so just click on this eye icon right here once you click on this eye icon right here on your high texture layer it's going to turn off and the image is going to be blurry so once the image is blurry come back to your corrective tool make sure you are your corrective tool pick your mixer brush tool make sure your mixer brush settings are correct start brushing on the skin of your model and just brush according to the shape of your model this is the before and this is the after so that's how you work on the colors or that's how you use your mixer brush in this uh, focus separation action i'm just going to delete it so if you are learning anything from this video i want you to hit on that like button so that this video can spread to more people and more people can see this video and learn from this video the next one we have right here is via medium blur so once i click on via media so i'm just going to click on uh, radius 5 and click on ok so it's also going to create a new group for me in my layer tab so inside that group i also have my high texture copy i have my high texture i have my corrective tool i have my low frequency and tools so it's similar to via gaussian blur the only difference is if i want to use my mixer brush and i turn off my high frequency the blur is going to be on media and once i'm using my mixer brush is going to be uh, smoothing those media out you can see those media are getting smoother so like that so that's the only difference between this one and via Gaussian blur a lot of people like using this uh, medium blur but I really don't like it I won't say I don't recommend it if it's working for you keep using it but this is not the one I'm using these are before and these are after so you can use whichever focus separation action that works for you so the next one right here we have is custom so this custom simply means if you want to create your own frequency separation from scratch so just click on it and it's going to show you the process on creating frequency separation so i don't want to create my frequency separation so i'm just going to cancel that the next one right here is digital skin texture so this digital skin texture is if you want to add texture digital texture to your to your image which i don't recommend but if you want to do that, all you have to do is click on it. It's going to open in a new layer right here. So make sure your uh, foreground color is on white. Pick your normal brush tool. Go to your brush tool. Make sure your normal brush tool is selected. And just brush over. Let me zoom so you can see what I'm doing. And just brush over the place which you want to add texture to your image. You can see the before and the after. But I don't recommend you do that or you use it. The next thing we have right here is luminosity masking so this luminosity masking is an advanced masking method in photoshop which i'm not going to be talking about in this video but if you want to learn luminosity masking i can do a video about that so the next one right here is face makeup and hair so this face makeup and hair it contains um magic skin tone glowing skin anti pink magic eyes and magic smile removal of facial or body hair and hair highlights so this magic skin tone you can use it to even out your skin tone so once you click on it like this it's going to create a new group for me and once this group is created i can just pick my normal brush tool and just paint on the skin like this so once i paint on the skin you can see the color that is adding to the skin to the skin tone i don't know if you can see it but let me show you the before and after this is the before you can see the skin the skin is a bit yellowish right now and uh, this is the after it's looking a bit pink and you can change this color if you want to and to change this color all you have to do is open the group and double click on this layer right here and see it's open the color tab so you can pick any colors from the skin which you want to to uh, recreate so once you pick on this color right here you can see the color right here has changed so let's see the before and the after so you can just play with colors and see whichever works for you so you can use that method to even out your skin tone but i don't use it so the next one we have right here is glowing skin so this glowing skin simply means if you want to add a little bit of shine to your image to make your skin glow so once i click on it you can see it has opened a new group for me also in my layer mask so i'll just pick my normal brush tool make sure my fragrance color is on white and just brush on the part which i want to add the shine to so i'll just brush on the skin tone because i want the skin to be shiny so i'll just do it like this and i'm going to show you the before and after in a bit now so you can see so after brushing this is the before and this is the after you can see you can see the shine that's added to the image 
this is the before and this is the after so you can use that um action right there to make your skin shine why this one right here this magic eye is the, to make your eyes bright which i don't recommend you use because i really don't like it why this magic smile is to make your teeth white the next one we have right here is uh, remove body or facial hair so if i click on this right one right here it's going to create in uh, something like a focus separation for me which i really don't use but if you want to use it all you have to do is going to create a new focus separation for you which you can just brush over and remove the hairs which you don't want but i don't use it so i don't recommend you use it because you really don't need it so the next one we have right here is hair highlights this hair highlights simply means if you want to make some part of your hair brighter than some part so let's say i want to make this dark place here bright all i have to do is click on my hair highlight and pick my normal brush tool and just brush on those parts and you can see those parts are now shiny i've highlighted those parts of the hair and i can decide to reduce the opacity so that's the function of hair highlights right there so the next one we have right here is quality control which i don't use we have solar curves and oversaturation which i don't use and i don't even recommend you use it so the next thing i'm going to be talking about right now we have uh, the basic adjustment right here so if i click on it you can see we have our levels if i click on it we have our curves we have our hue saturation we have our selective color which is which are the basic adjustment we have right here in photoshop so we also have them in the beauty retouch so i'm also going to delete those ones right here we have our liquify and we have our smart liquify and um also we have our sharpen so if you want to sharpen your image this one right here is sharpen instead of coming here to create a new layer you can as well click on this place right here to create a new layer so that's what that is for so why right, right here why this one is to just create a stamp visible layer so once i click on it it's going to create a stamp visible layer for me and everything i've done is going to open in a new layer for me and right here we have image size we have image size and right here we have save if you want to save your image just click on save for web you are going to save your image for web and right here we have save as and you can also save your image as uh, jpeg as tiff as photoshop file so whichever one you want to do and just save it and click save these are the function of retouching academy so guys that will be all for today's video and this is how you use the beauty retouch academy so i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative